What's the latest squad back with another video? I'm reckless. I'm pissed. All right, we got Kanye West on why he wore the White Lives Matter shirt. Um, make sure y'all hit the like button, subscribe for more videos. Make sure y'all comment down below. You feel me? Good to be back. Been like what three days? Two days, three days. You know what I'm saying? Had a uh, had to go to the hospital, stuff like that. Got some stuff going on. You feel me? But you already know. You feel me? Make sure y'all hit the like button, hit that subscribe. Let's get in the video. Good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. Kanye West, now known as Ye, is one of the best-selling musical artists in the world. He's also in recent years become a celebrated and very highly paid fashion designer. And of course, for a decade, he was well known to TV audiences as an in-law of the Kardashian family. But it's West's latest incarnation as a kind of Christian evangelist that brought us to his office in Los Angeles today for the interview you're about to see. Days ago, during Fashion Week in Paris, West, accompanied by his friend Candace Owens, unveiled a T-shirt that read simply, White friends. Lives mm -hmm. Matter. The response from the fashion industry and international media was instantaneous and uniform. Shock, horror, rage. There is no excuse for this, thundered the New York Times. West is legitimizing extremism, shrieked Rolling Stone, etc., etc. What was strikingly missing from the coverage, however, was any explanation for why West did this. What was the T-shirt about? No one seemed to think to ask him, much less to listen to what he had to say. Instead, the enemies of his ideas dismissed West, as they have for years, as mentally ill. Too crazy to take seriously. Look away, ignore him. He's a mental patient. There's nothing to see here. But is West crazy? You can judge for yourself as you watch what we're about to show you. He has his own ideas, we can say that. Creative people tend to. That's why they're artists, not actuaries. His freeform social media posts give the impression of a man channeling his rawest emotions right onto Instagram. The effect can be jarring, and it's often used as ammunition against him in the battle for influence over the minds of America's young people. And that battle is intense. But crazy? That was not our conclusion. In fact, we've rarely heard a man speak so honestly and so movingly about what he believes. But again, you can judge for yourself. Here it is. If you love <laughs> Sleepy Joe, no, then you do it. not want to see this because we're giving away these. In I take this off too. So you just came from Paris Fashion Week. You just landed in your yeah. Iranian yeah. store. See my information. And there's a <laughs> photograph on it. What is that? It's a photograph of a baby's ultrasound. Why is that? And that you designed that? Yes. Why? What does that mean? Uh, it just represents life. I'm pro-life. Boy, so you wear it on a badge. What, what kind of response do you get? And, and good, amen. I agree. I don't care about people's responses. I care about the fact that there's more black babies being aborted than born in New York City at this point. That 50% of black death in America is abortion. So mm. I really don't care about people's responses. I, I perform for an audience of one, and that's God. Damn. <laughs> I'm, starting, I'm starting to see why they want to make you be quiet. Um, how, when did you start to feel this way? When did you start to realize this? I, I really felt like, I think I started to really feel this need to express myself on another level when Trump was running for office and I liked him yes. and every single person in Hollywood from my ex-wife to my mother-in-law to my manager at that time to you know my my so-called friends slash handlers around me told me like if I said that I like Trump that my career would be over that my life would be over uh, they said stuff like people get killed for wearing a hat like that they threatened my life they put my life they basically said that I would be killed uh, for uh, wearing the hat. I had a, a, someone call me last night and said anybody wearing a White Lives Matter shirt is going to be greenlit, and that means that they're going to beat them up if they wear it. And I'm like, you know, okay, green light me then. <laughs> you, know, you know, God builds warriors in a different way. I don't know if it's because of me being a born in Atlanta, and growing up on the south side of Chicago that, you know, he made me for such a, such a time like this. It's like with David, you know, he tended to the sheep, but while he was out there, he had to fight all kinds of animals. So when it was time for Goliath to come, he thought because he was a sheep herder that he didn't have the skill set to take down Goliath. And the I thing feel like people don't, people look at a different way at Kanye. 
Like, I feel, yeah, I feel like everybody has their own way of thinking and their own yeah. way of getting things out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I feel like he has his own way of thinking and getting things out, and people. Yeah, just you know, like any other person. Yeah. yeah. The things just that I his have, way. the position I have, my heart. But the number one thing is we have God on our side. And for the people, even if you don't believe in God, God believes in you. So you made reference to the White Lives Matter t-shirt mm-hmm. which you brought out at Paris Fashion Week. Yeah. Why, wh- why did you do that and what did it mean? You know, I, did, I do certain things from a feeling. I like, I just, I just channel the energy. It just feels right. It's using a gut instinct, a connection with God, and just brilliance. You know, like as if you ask like Tanya Harding how she did the, the triple flip or the triple spin, yeah. she was in so much practice that when it was time for her to skate in a, in a, comp, in a competitive you format, that movie too. it just happened. Like it happened Tanya. outside of practice, it happened in the real format. And that's, what hap- that's what's happening is God is like preparing us for the real, for the real battles. And we are, we are in a battle with the media. Like, the majority of the media has a, a godless agenda. And the jokes in that work and this whole, like, oh, yeah, he's crazy and all these things, they don't work because the media has, you know, they've also watched travesties happen, just even specifically to me, and just watch it and act like it wasn't happening. And they stay quiet about it. Mm. Uh, what if they? So, what if? Well, was, I want to answer the the white. Yeah. I, I feel like someone caught what I was saying. The comparison to Tanya Harden about the the White Lives Matter. You know, my dad is an educated um, ex Black Panther, and he put a text to me today. He said, "White Lives Matter." Ha 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 ha. And I said, "I thought the shirt was a funny shirt. I thought the idea of me wearing it was funny." And I said, Dad, what do you think it was funny? He said, just, just a black man stating the obvious. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, my dad doesn't listen to rap music, and he's, like, super educated. We, we opened up a water distribution center in the Dominican Republic together. He's like the original Steve Jobs. But he was getting blocked every which way with all of his ideas, and he didn't have... Uh, an endless bank account and he didn't have an Instagram so all these ideas he had to like take them back and compress them like my dad is the most brilliant person that I know and we actually have a strained relationship because I was taken from him because my mom was an actress so she was a liberal and my dad would see certain things and say you know we should do it this way we should do it that way and the people got around my mom and pulled her away, much like, you know, Kim is a Christian, but she has people who want her to go to Interview Magazine and put her ass out while she's a 40-something-year-old multi-billionaire with four black children. And mm. this is what, how fashion wants to... I feel like people out. don't... People look at him a different way, and it's like me saying, like, me personally, like, I'm not even going to sit here and, like, you know, be a hypocrite about it. Like, I would see Kanye, and I'd be like, what is Kanye on? No, I was about to say, yeah, I would definitely be like, he is freaking crazy. But I but I but, never really listen yeah. to what he has to say. And I feel like... It's just all social media. We see social media. Exactly. Until we see this. Exactly. I feel like it's that. Um, how they want to present her. So, so you really see a person. Um, yeah. You get these questions and I give you like these three-part answers. Is this a cool format for you? Yeah, I love it. Following? Okay, cool. And I am following it. <laughs> all right. So you said... Um, that your father said when he saw the shirt White Lives Matter, it's great to see a black man stating the obvious. So, by which I think you meant that's obviously true. Yeah, that my favorite response, because I kept on thinking like, you know, people, they're looking for an explanation and people say, well, as an artist, you don't have to give an explanation, but as a leader, you do. Yes, I think that's right. So, the answer to... I feel like Tucker, Tucker is a uh, surprise too. Yeah, I would say he's really yeah. like tuning in on what he's saying. Nice. Why I wrote White Lives Matter on a shirt is because they do. It's the obvious thing. Yeah. Why, why do you think that's so 
and, and I assume the implication is, of course, all lives matter because they're lives, because God created them. Yeah. Why do you think that that would be considered controversial? The media is your enemy. People were deluded and lied to. Black Lives Matter. Or Candace Owens, coming soon. <laughs> because the same oh, yeah, people that, that have stripped us of our identity and labeled us as a, as a color have told us what it means to be black and the vernacular that we're supposed to have. My dad grew up as a military brat and his family moved around, but they were based mostly in Delaware. And at the time, if, if he wasn't, if they weren't the only black family, they were one of the few. And he would be discriminated against because he was black. So by the time he got into college, he would be discriminated against. He went to a black college, he would be discriminated against because they said he talked too white. Yes. Mm. And then he played the kick drum in the band. So when he would go to the club. See, I feel like that's, that's more of like a cultural thing. Like I watched the video, I think we both watched it more of a cultural thing rather than talking white. I feel like it's, you can, like a white person or a Mexican, like you can talk ghetto. Or like black yeah. people, like you can talk proper. I don't think it's like more so of, you know, Yeah, I feel uh, like white. it's just, I don't know. We'll like it's that culture. Place. Like yeah, I feel like it's, it's just that. Like, yeah. Like. And the music was playing, where would he clap his hands? Where the kick drum is. Yeah. So it was the opposite of where everyone else right, exactly. was clapping their hands. <laughs> and uh, this is the most elegant and tasteful person that I know. And when my mom, when they, when, when the school suggested, or like the herding systems, because what they do is take the um, the black community and they separate us, and they separate the families. And the educated, uh, they, they, you know, they push this, you know, need for higher education. And us as blacks, we discriminate against each other and say, well, I got my PhD and you don't have your PhD, so I'm better than you. And so my mom, she had a PhD and she was influenced to uh, move to the south side of Chicago and take this job at Chicago State University. And she told my dad, if you come, if you come for us, you know, you'll never see him again. Because, you know, the media ridiculed me for getting the house next door to Kim to see my children. And they even said that I was stalking her and her new boyfriend because mm -hmm. I bought the house next door to see my children. And I, that's, that's how I knew that, that, uh, that my mom had said that to him. I said, Dad, you know, they moved us to one of the most dangerous, agreed upon to be one of the most dangerous places in the world. It's almost like they tried to kill me or something. Uh, I said, Dad, why didn't you ever, why'd you never come to get us? And that's when he told me, that's when he told me that she was told that. You know, there's so many things that are put in Kim's head. You know, they bring influencers, like, no one ever knew where Corey Gamble came from. No one in the fashion world knows where Gabby came from. These people were practically made in a laboratory, in my opinion. And one of the things that they're really good at doing is being nice and being likable. And what they do is for people that have some form of influence, whether it's an educated black woman like my mother that became the head of the English department at Chicago State University, or whether it's the most influential uh, white woman on the planet being my ex-wife, they have people that are around them at all times, telling them what to be afraid of. It's like not what to do or say specifically, it's what to be afraid of. And if you have a person yeah. that isn't afraid of them, you know, like a Russell Brand or yeah. Candace Owens. Right. Or, it's not that we have to agree right. no. with this, but they're not afraid. They're not afraid to state what their opinion is. Yes. Every, no one is God and everyone has an opinion. I feel like I, I feel like I really enjoyed that because of the fact of Kanye really explaining not only why he wore the shirt, but 
why things are the way they are yeah. and on top of that how Plus he, he how grew he up really, and how his parents yeah, are yeah how he really is because like I said I felt like he was like crazy or whatever because the whole stuff on TikTok it's what the media put out yeah so now I feel like this gave me a and, and even if he is you know crazy or yeah. you know people I feel like everybody has like their own yeah. like weirdness they own like their own way of doing their own things. Yeah, how they put it, you feel me? But you already know, make sure you hit the like with the scar. More videos will be dropped, so make sure you stay tuned for I think I actually one. One more other video dropped today. Um, but you know, again, more videos will be dropped, so make sure you stay tuned. Hit the like with the subscribe button. Catch y'all next time.